Hey guys, it's Abby and welcome to my channel. Today is going to be a very relaxing paint with me video. I won't be talking for most of the time, so do enjoy this first attempt to create a paint with me video. I am using Karen Dash gouache paints for this and I will be painting a scene from Studio TV. So the idea for paint with me came about when I was painting this because I realized I have not painted in quite some time. I mean, I do hand lettering and I use watercolor with it, but painting in general, like doing sceneries or landscapes is something that I am really passionate about, but I don't get to do as much because I don't really have a lot of time to work on my personal creative endeavors. So now that I have more time, I am trying to venture out into different ways on how I can expand my creativity and really work on different mediums that could help me further enhance my skills. As you know, I have studied some art schools in New York for a couple of months and I also did some painting classes actually, but it's really something that I have been trying to overcome because when I went there, I was told that all the techniques I know are not correct and I did not come from any art school so I actually learned everything on my own. So my attempt for this painting journey is to really learn everything as I go. This is my first time also to use gouache paint for painting sceneries in general and at the same time being able to paint without any lines because if you've seen some of my previous travel journals you'll see that everything is illustrated with a black fine liner pen and I have always been really wary of you know doing illustrations that have outlines and this one I really wanted to venture out and try something new. I'm just preparing my pad. I'm using a Canson Moval that is ring bound so it's easier to use it for painting and I'm just putting some guides. This is the reference photo I am basing my image from. This is from the movie Only Yesterday. I really loved it. It's such a simple coming of age film. So I'm just going to start off with doing some sketches. I'm using a 5H pencil here. Next, I'm going to start with painting the background, which is the sky, and it's predominantly in a sky blue color. Actually, one of the more key elements for me is actually creating the background, and I am hella scared. It just doesn't show on video, but it's also my first time using white as clouds because when I do watercolor, I usually just wipe off um, the paint areas and you know keep the whites that's how you get the white when you use watercolor because it's transparent in nature and what i love about gouache is you're able to layer and create depth in certain areas so i'm just going to start off and paint the sky in a subtle light blue color i still have to modify this every now and then because i have to make sure that it's not super solid it has to have this like I don't know if it's like a ripple effect or something, just so it gives the illusion of clouds. And, you know, clouds are not also in a solid shape, so I'm trying to create different angles and techniques and learn to control my brush accordingly. What's interesting I find is when you do painting like this, well, at least for me, I tend to keep my hand lighter compared to doing hand lettering because you just have to be able to, you know, freely work around your hand. I don't know how to explain it, but... You get the idea.
So I'm starting to create the illusion of this pathway because it's a van going forward into the sky. Not really the sky, but you get the point. So I'm starting to create neutral tones with the greens. And I love painting nature in general because there are a lot of layers. Actually, the image that I chose is relatively easy when you say um, landscape in general because the lighting is kind of even compared to other sceneries where there are a lot of shadows and I didn't want to challenge myself too much so here I am just layering out the different shades of green this is something that I am constantly learning that you have to be really observant when watching you know this guy and looking at these different elements because you'd be surprised how you can just look at it and like oh it's just one shade of green but actually there are a lot of shades of green and how they overlap so this actually just the first layer I'm also going ahead and doing more details into the cloud so this is a brand new layer where i can just mix up the previous colors that i already painted and you know sort of create build up a new layer from it so what i like about gouache as well is it's water soluble so it's also easy to mix around the colors compared to acrylic acrylic really scares me so much because it dries fast and here i don't think i am the type who can actually work really fast it took me more than I think this is like 45 minutes to paint this. I think that's already fast, but in my case, it's not that fast because I am used to doing a lot of sketching, which is really um, freehand and takes like 15 minutes. But yeah, I guess it depends. So I'm just adding the little details. I love these little details because they make the landscape more realistic and more um, full of character. And here in the middle part, it's sort of like a lime-ish color, so I'm trying to add that in contrast to the very green, pine green, um, viridian green at the back. One thing I'm realizing as an artist is I realize that I don't really like following the rules. I don't know if it's just me, but I find that the more I experiment and learn new things, the more I take them into heart and the more I sort of implement it with my own design and my own work. And that's also something I'm trying to explore by painting more these days. And I think it's a very liberating feeling because I've always been super trapped with the idea of having to do this or having to do that. And honestly, all of my techniques, like things I've learned from lettering, from journaling, from drawing in general, they're all self-taught. And that's something that I always am proud of, even if I always had felt insecure about it before. But now I'm thinking about it more as a strength rather than a weakness. I'm just going ahead and adding more details, mostly the dark colors now. Now in art school, this is called like values. I didn't know this until I actually attended a class about it. And it's really important because you are able to sort of plot where the shadows are, how the lighting is placed, and how some areas have certain colors that really like add more life to the image. I also realized that my painting style is heavily inspired by Claude Monet. If you're not familiar with him, he's very famous for his water lily paintings and I think he does oil, but he's one of the pioneers of impressionism and plein air painting, which is more of, um, you know, drawing daily things like a very casual way of painting because before it was all about like portraits and stuff and he just wanted to capture daily life and I love that idea. Actually, that was the first time I did oil painting after a while was 
inspired by him as well, so I really love his work. More so, the reason why I chose Studio Ghibli is because I've been watching Ghibli films the past couple of days, and this is a scene from only yesterday. Um, I watched Whisper of the Heart, Howl's Moving Castle from Up on Poppy Hill, The Wind Rises, and Only Yesterday. My next would be Ocean Waves and maybe Spirited Away. But yeah, I realize also that I'm more into the coming of age and the mundane kind of films that they make and I appreciate more of the city scenes, especially in Whisper of the Heart, but I think that's a preference thing as well. I'm not really hooked into the fantasy ones, but I'm really curious to watch uh, Totoro and Spirited Away. I know, I have not watched it. I am saving supposedly probably the best for last, I hope. After a few minutes, I finally am adding the last part of the painting, which are the flowers, because I didn't want to mix the reds with the greens, that's also a possibility with gouache, and I love adding the touches of white because you see how the colors mix from like red to fuchsia to pink to like peachy colors, and it just adds a little bit more character to the piece. Onto my favorite part and the last part which is peeling off the washi tape and revealing the final artwork. I hope you enjoyed this first paint with me video that I made. Let me know if you want to see more. Thank you guys for watching and make sure to hit like and subscribe to my channel for more updates and notifications on new videos. I'll see you guys soon. Bye!